Yo, what's going on everyone? Before we get into the video, I just want to say, please, please, please show some support today if you do, because I am absolutely shattered, okay? Do you know, do you know what time I got in from, from college today? Do you want to know, do you want to know what time? 6.40, 6, 6, 6, 40, and look at me here, sitting here at 11, uh, no, I don't know why I said 11, at 9pm, recording on a video, putting my heart and soul into it. Just so I can tell you how to get the best FPS possible. That's right, that's right, only the best FPS here. So make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and comment also if you want to see any other types of videos from my channel that I'm not already currently doing. As it is, I'm sort of keeping it sort of all similar, you know, all sorts to do with FPS, but is there anything in particular or anything else? So make sure you comment down below and I'll make sure to reply back to you as soon as possible. But now I'm going to show you exactly how you can boost your PCs, FPS, and optimize the crap out of your PC. So let's get strained. All right, first off, what you want to do is you want to come down to a little search area. You want to put in Winver right here. And basically, what this is going to say is this is going to say your version of Windows. And what you want it to be is 2004. Well, it's not actually 2004. That's the version. You get a point. So what you're going to do this this little this little buddy around here. This is going to be your main sort of central hub. And you want to go into settings, you want to go to update and security, and to update this to the latest version, what you want to do is you just want to do the install now or update, wherever it's going to be. Me, I haven't done this in a few days, so I've got some updates I'll need to do. However, if there isn't anything here, the, there should be a little refresh button, and just click that, and it should update you if there is anything that you need to do. But if not, then you're all good to go. It's probably not a good demonstration that uh, mine be updated. But okay, we're moving on to the next thing. Right, what you want to do next is you want to come down to here again. Told you, told you we're going to be using this. And you want to put in defrag. And this will be it, the defrag optimization. And basically what you want to do here is you want to go through all of your drives and you want to optimize them. Um, however, if you do have the chance to analyze them, I also recommend you analyze them. However, some of them uh, will not be able to uh, have the analyze option highlighted. If you can analyze it, then I recommend you analyze it. And again, for um, yeah, um, for bigger drives, you uh, you may find it taking a longer time. But for me, uh, my big daddy o right there, it's about a two terabyte hard drive, not much on it. And basically, what you want to do is analyze them. They are all good to do. Basically, what this is going to tell you is the sort of state of your uh, hard drives. And so essentially, if it's fragmented, it means like some of your drive is a bit messed up in sort of a way. That's the B from how old it is or you downloading stuff i'm not gonna question what you guys download i mean it's serious shit that's going around but like uh yeah pretty much that uh for me i'm all zero percent fragmented a way that you can do this is if you uh format your pc i do my i format my pc you know every every few months you know just to make sure it's all clean and just to give some extra space into it uh, you know i recommend if you're gonna do that you have a, like a 50 gig terabyte now terabyte, uh, 50 uh, gigabyte uh, little um, terabyte USB that you can plug into your PC, have some important stuff on it and you're good to go. But any uh, any other reason, uh, I would not recommend you needing to uh, format your PC unless you want to like me. Right, moving on to the next thing, terabyte. For this next tip, you're gonna go down to the description and you wanna download the uh, folder pack right here. It's gonna look like this. Uh, just wanna say it right now, okay? Put my hands up in the air. This isn't my pack, okay? This is uh, um, from another YouTube channel that I got it from. I will also leave the, uh, them in the, 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 I will also leave their link in the description as well. And I'm sure you've probably heard of, they, um, heard of their YouTube channel before. They're quite a big YouTube channel in terms of Fortnite, FPS boost, etc., etc. but we all know I'm better. All right, anyway, so what you wanna do is you just wanna Extract the contents in this file. You want to open this bad boy. Go into config. Then you want to choose which one you want to, uh, which sort of settings you want here. Again, you will want the major FPS boost one. So come over to here. And of course, for me, this folder is empty. Right. So now, what you want to do is you want to hit the old Windows R. We're going to do two percentage app data percent. And right here, you're going to open up this file. File right here. You want to go back out. You want to go to a local. You want to go down to Fortnite game, it's saved, config, Windows client, and basically what you want to do, three files that are in there, is you want to select them all and you want to whack them right here, and if there's any files in there, click replace files in this destination, and you're good to go. 
moving on to the next thing. And basically, what this is going to do is this is going to optimize the shit out of your Fortnite. This is going to give it the best possible settings you want. The best possible settings you want in everything. Of course, it's not going to change around any of your personal settings. Like, yeah your sensitivity and all, and all that other crap okay this is purely gonna give you the best bang for your buck okay so do this if you choose the other one then it's it's pretty much the ex well it is the exact same thing and and that's gonna give you the best fps you possibly can uh doing the major one so moving on to the next thing. all right so what you want to do again is you want to go into the super duper handy folder again you want to go to our launch options Basically, what you want to do here is you want to ignore all of this stuff and it is just this bad boy right here what you want to do. Basically, the number here will be different depending on what processor you have. But for me, it's 16 because I have 16 threads. However, if you don't know what, how many threads you have in your processor, what you want to do is you want to go to Task Manager. Oh, you want to go to Task Manager and you want to go down to Performance. You want to locate your CPU. For me, I don't know why it's called uh, logical processes. It's your threads, you know, you probably know it's your threads. You've got your threads and your cores. Generally, if you know your cores, it's going to be double the amount of that. But for me, it's 16. So I'm going to put old 16 right in there. What you want to do is you want to copy the whole of this little uh, text right here. Then you want to go to Epic Games. Wait for this bad boy to load up. Go to your settings. Go all the way down to the bottom till Fortnite. You want to click on additional command line. You want to paste it in like so all good to go and basically what you want to do is you want to make sure you restart this properly to exit out and that'll be good to go uh, you don't need to do anything further there you sort it out your options you're all good to go now we just got to do two more things and and you're gonna be running 360 hertz with your overpriced 360 hertz right. monitor the next thing you want to do is you want to boot up your game i'm just opening it in windowed mode as it is for now because it's a lot more easier to do my thing for me however you don't have to but anyway what you want to do is you want to go down to your task manager make sure you're on processes find fortnite you want to open file location and you see these four files right here they'll be easily identical because they've got the little fortnite symbol on them basically you want to right click go to properties compatibility make sure you've got disable full screen optimizations on and go to change high dpi and make sure you've got this uh, uh ticked and then you want to do okay and you want to apply Basically, what you want to do is you want to do this for the next four uh, or next three of these, and you'll be good to go on that side. All right. So what you want to do now is you want to go into the settings. Um, of course, full screen is the best option. You always want to be on full screen. Do not have it on anything else other than full screen. Um, for me, your resolution should be uh, set to the max. But as I said, for me, I prefer it at this resolution so I can get uh, more consistent FPS. However, most pro players have it at 1920 by 2080. Did I just say 1920? But... Alright, moving on. Anyway, so they also have some streamers will also have it on lower sensitivities. Basically, even one of these, you know, even one, whatever personal preference you're going to go for. Again, frame rate should be capped to unlimited. Again, there's some sayings here. However, I recommend you say, say if you've got a 144 monitor i recommend you put it above that so you're getting extra fps so it's always consistent at that and it will generally make it more smoother again 240 you know free that's a pretty big jump but for me i'm just going to keep it on unlimited however sometimes i will just keep it on 240 depending on what i'm doing maybe in a tournament i will keep it on just 240. so whatever you want to do there that's kind of all personal preference depending on what you have brightness again should be set to i set it to 125 percent purely because I feel like the game is uh, too dark and also it's very useful having your game over brighter makes it easier to identify enemies. Again, contrast stuff here, it's all personal preference, colorblind mode. Well, colorblind mode, actually, funny, funny thing about that, this bad boy used to make you see in the storm using, uh, I'm not even gonna pronounce it, but using these two um, colorblind modes, 10 right there, used to be able to make you see in the storm. However, now they've patched that, and the only purpose of this mainly is to see llamas, but we're not into that. Again, your settings, what you want to do here is basically if you want the best possible FPS, copy my exact settings. However, except from medium textures, I generally have my textures set to medium because having them on low, I just don't like having them on low at all. Again, 3D resolution, I would recommend saying that to 100. And if you're not getting the consistent FPS you want, 
start slowing it down uh, maybe by 10% every time that's what I do and I kind of like 85% I can't really notice the uh, sort of more pixelated screen however if you go down to like 30% you'll really see the pixelated screen but you'll probably be running at like a thousand FPS uh, down to the advanced graphics basically vsync off motion blur off show FPS on direct the direct x12 I recommend for higher PCs generally have it on like more newer sort of processors and graphics cards definitely have it on um, if you have, oh, oh, please don't do that. Okay, it's fine. Anyway, it's fine. Yeah. The more low end PCs, DirectX 11. Generally, um, whatever you're most comfortable with, go with whatever. Uh, generally, you may find that you get better FPS with the DirectX 12 than DirectX 11, but it depends on your PC. So test, see where you get better. If you have a multi thread, uh, basically, if you've got more than four cores, turn this bad boy on. This is basically gonna use for me i have eight cores and 16 threads it's going to allow this to go across all of them and share it out uh gpu crash debugging have that off you don't need it on however if you want it on you can but again as you see right there small performance cost so you really want it on do you do you no i didn't think so okay due to me having very limited time i'm just gonna say thank you very much for watching also if you want to know what the rest of the video is going to be i'm gonna have to record that tomorrow and i'll upload that tomorrow as well so make sure you tune into that because that is going to tell you what to do with the rest of that folder since i haven't actually covered everything in that folder and believe it or not there is more things you can do to get the best fps possible yes i know right who knew there could be so many ways to get fps well i do because that's why i'm here okay but make sure you subscribe like and comment if you haven't already done that then i don't know why you're still here at this point you know you just, just taken my just taken my knowledge on fps boost so i can't believe you do that but anyway thank you very much for watching i'll see you in part two hopefully and in other videos